welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. Today I'm going to share my smothered chicken stew recipe with you. It is delicious. Then I'm going to show you how I make Sprite biscuits, which are out of this world. Then to finish it off, I'm going to share my old-timey chocolate pie recipe with you guys. It's simple. All these recipes are simple, cost-effective, and delicious. So I'm going to get started. The first thing I want to do for my chicken stew is I've got two cups of flour that I put, and you want to put it in a big bowl like this. Then I'm going to season it. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of my Tony Sachery's Cajun season, a tablespoon of black pepper, a tablespoon of salt. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's when you're seasoning flour, you've got to use a good bit of that salt. And then, I, of course, my onion powder and my garlic powder. And the way that we're going to start this stew is I'm going to take the chicken. I've got six um, chicken thighs. I like to use the boneless, skinless. And then I have five, I like to have five or six. I think I've got five chicken legs there. They had the skin on, it's okay. Um, I just couldn't find any yesterday that had no skin. So a little bit of skin is all right. But I'm gonna dredge the chicken pieces in this flour just lightly. And I'm only gonna brown these um, chicken pieces on each side. And then I'll show you what happens from there. All right, so I've got in this pot, a tablespoon of olive oil and two tablespoons of real butter. It's already heated and ready to go. So now I'm going to start by just dredging the chicken and I want to shake off as much excess as I can because I'm not frying it. I'm just putting a nice little coating on these chicken pieces. And this flour will also help uh, to be the thickening agent for the stew. So. All right, and I'm only gonna do this in small batches. If you crowd it too much, it's not gonna cook very well. So we'll just put four or five pieces in there at a time. So basically what I'm doing, I'm not worried about these cooking right now all the way. I'm just wanting to brown on each side. And then once I brown them on each side, I'm gonna just remove them from the pan. Okay, so they are nice and browned on one side. So now I'm getting ready to flip them over. And one way to gauge is if, if you can easily slide them, then they're ready to be turned. If they're still kind of sticking, then just hold on and let them cook a little bit more. So you can see that's just a nice and brown coating right there. All right, so I'm gonna brown the rest of these, the chicken legs, and set them aside, and then I'll get started on the stew part of it. Okay, so as you can see, I've got all sides brown. And remember, this is in no way, um, the, the chicken is not cooked at all. It's not at all near being ready. I just wanted to brown it. And then what happens is it almost makes a roux at the bottom of the pot. And all these little drippings from the chicken gives this stew its incredible flavor. And that flour thickens it. So now, the next step is to take, in those drippings, I'm going to add I have one onion that I've chopped. And I'm gonna add, this is a cup of water. I'm gonna take a little bit of this water. And I wish you guys could smell this. It smells wonderful. So I'm just gonna saute these onions for a minute. And then I'm gonna add fresh mushrooms. All right, now I'm gonna add the mushrooms to the mixture. And then I'm just gonna brown these for a little bit, two or three minutes. And when I come back, I'll show you the rest of the ingredients that goes in the stew. Want to create something extraordinary? Create perfection. Our lifestyle appliances make it easy. GE Monogram, Bob Wallace Appliance, and you, when only the best will do. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys of Wolf Jones, Conchin, Wolf Hancock, and Daniel to arrange your initial consultation. 
because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. Okay, we're back, and now the onions and the mushrooms are nice and browned. And now the next step to finish up this stew is to add a cup of water. And you may want to come back and add some more water later. We'll just have to see. Then I've got a can of chicken broth. And I served this over cooked rice, and it's just delicious. Okay, so there's my liquid. And then I'm gonna take these little chicken granules, and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon. This just gives it a really good flavor. And you may wanna go back after you've put all your seasonings in. I always like to go back after it's cooked for a little bit, taste it, and then see from there if I need to add some more. I like to add a little bit of my Tony's seasoning and then a little bit more of my garlic powder and onion powder and a little salt and pepper. And you'll see later, the, um, once the, this dish cooks down and the chicken's in there, it's good to let it simmer for at least an hour. If you have two hours to just cover it, let it simmer, the chicken will fall off of the bone on the chicken legs. It's just delicious. All right, so now I've got all the seasonings in there. The last step is to add my chicken back and get it all in there and coated with that liquid. And then it, the chicken's just gonna stew. Okay, so this is the last piece of chicken going in there. And then what I'm gonna do is just cover it. And then I'm gonna just let it simmer on real low for about an hour to two hours just depending upon how much time you have. And I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I want to get started on my chocolate pie. All right, I've got all my stuff for the chocolate pies ready to go. So what you wanna do is start with two sticks of real butter. You wanna make sure you use real butter. So I'm gonna melt that in the saucepan. And then these are the semi-sweet chocolate squares. Just, they're called baking squares. And I have four of those. So this recipe is gonna make two pies. And you want to because your family is going to devour it once you make it. All right, so what I want to do is let this butter and chocolate melt together, but I don't want to cook it on a too high of a temp because it'll scald it all. So I just have it on real low and it's going to take probably about eight to 10 minutes just stirring it often until all the butter and the chocolate melt together. And then I'll show you guys what happens after that. All right, now the chocolate and the butter are all melted together and it smells delicious. So the next step is to turn the heat off. I'm gonna bring it over here. And the next step is to add two cups of sugar. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk this sugar real, real good in there because the last step, and it's kind of scary the first time you do it, is to add the eggs, but you gotta temper it. And that just means taking a little bit of this hot mixture to the eggs. Because if you just take these eggs right now and put them in this pot, you're gonna have scrambled eggs in your pie and it won't be good at all. So we've got to temper the eggs. Okay, so I think that is all right. Now, and I'll, I, always, I always just freak out when I do this. <laughs> you just wanna do it quick. All right, so I've got the eggs. This is four eggs, and I already beat them up. Now I'm just gonna start beating and just add a little bit of this hot chocolate and butter mixture. And just keep adding it. And so then now when I pour these, this eggs and chocolate mixture in here, it doesn't shock it. Okay, so I think we're ready now to add the eggs to the chocolate and the butter and the sugar. Just kind of slowly pour that egg mixture in there. Then you just want to keep on whisking until you get a real silky smooth consistency and you won't be able to see the egg, the yellow of the egg anymore. And then I'm going to show you guys after a while how I make a homemade whip topping that goes on top of this. You can use re just use regular Cool Whip, but I like to make homemade whipped cream topping that is out of this world. All right, it's looking good and whew, I don't have scrambled eggs in my pie. Okay, now is the next step that I hope I don't make a mess and that is 
to get this mixture into these pot shells. So what I'm gonna do is just pour, try to pour evenly. Let's see, go this way. There's one, and you don't wanna overfill it. And then, voila, two. And then I'm gonna bake these at 375 for only 25 minutes, exactly 25 minutes. You're gonna open up the oven and you're gonna say, no, I need to give it another five or 10 minutes. I promise, take them out because they'll overcook. So I'm gonna get these in the oven and when I come back, I am gonna show you guys how I make my Sprite biscuits. There's something about carpet that gives a room a warm, soft feeling. Our carpet also gives you something else, peace of mind. All of our exclusive carpet brands are made in the USA and come with a lifetime warranty. So feel free to live your life exactly the way you want. Get your soft carpet from the flooring experts at Woldy Flooring. Visit our new showroom in Madison, locally owned since 2002. I had the best dream last night. We were building a new house or remodeling, and I found the most gorgeous tile. Tumbled noche for the master bath, Venetian gold granite for the kitchen, and a beautiful custom backsplash. And while shopping, I ran into Jean-Luc. So, you're heading to Jenkins Brick and Tile today? Yeah. I'll go with you. Jenkins Brick and Tile, Madison Boulevard in Madison. We'll show you the tile of your dreams. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use, and with Wellborn being the selection, Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. You're going to love what you see. Wellborn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville. My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company. Call today at 518-9780. Okay, we're back and oh my goodness, the chicken stew smells wonderful. It's simmering back here. The chocolate pies are in the oven. Now I'm getting ready to make my Sprite biscuits. And I made it for my family for the first time a couple months ago. They, were, they went crazy. They said, oh mama, these are good. This is a keeper. So what you wanna do is start with two cups of Bisquick. And then I have three tablespoons of white sugar a half a cup of sour cream, and you're just going to have to work with this a little bit. I like to use a fork and just keep working and getting it all mixed up together. And then the next thing you want to put in there is a half a cup of Sprite. And then what you wanna do is just keep stirring it until it's gonna form a little ball. Then I'm gonna turn it out onto here and roll it out just a little bit. Our featured community today is Forest Ridge and that's one of our communities in the Monrovia area that's still pretty new. We just finished a beautiful model home out there. We'll take you guys on a tour later today and let you see it. But I tell you, it's in another wonderful location in Monrovia with the school systems, as fantastic as they are. You're close to 565. The lots in this community is absolutely gorgeous. There are already some beautiful homes built in there. And I would encourage you guys to go out there, check it out. They're open seven days a week. And uh, I think you'll like what you see. Okay, so I, I'm, I've got this stirred. I took all my rings off because otherwise I'll have dough all in my ring. Then you want to take a little bit of flour and just, for insurance, just kind of sprinkle it out on this parchment paper. And then I'm just gonna start working with this. 
you want to scrape all that dough out of there and just turn it out like this. Okay, I'm going to flour my hands a little bit and it doesn't matter if you get it on the dough. And you guys know by now, if you've been watching my show for any length of time, I'm not a baker. <laughs> so if I can do this, you can do it and they will be delicious. So just get your dough coated real good with the flour because we're gonna take the old rolling pin and roll it out just a little bit, not a lot, because we want it to be kind of thick. All right, so what you're gonna do is just, I'm trying to make a square if at all possible, because I ultimately want these to be in squares, or for the most part, I want them to be. Okay, so you're gonna get about uh, eight to 10 biscuits out of this. So I'm just gonna start cutting, and I think I'm gonna go this way first. Just take a knife, so then we're gonna start cutting. And try to cut them evenly, if you can, so they all bake nice and even together. Here's another odd man out on the ends here. Okay. And then, the next step is, I like to take a little bit more melted butter, whoops, and I'm just gonna brush the tops of them gently. And then you'll have a little bit melted butter left over too. So when they come out of the oven, it's always delicious just to dab a little bit more melted butter on the top. All right, and then the last step is I like to have a little bowl of sugar. And then I'm just, the kids like this part of it. They said, oh, it's got little, a little sugar topping. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just take your fingers and just kind of sprinkle very lightly over the top. And then you're gonna bake these at 400 for 15 to 20 minutes. You just wanna watch them towards the end so they brown a little bit on the top. And then I'm gonna clean all this up and then I'll show you guys how I make my homemade whipping cream for the pies. What you wanna do is put a glass bowl in a freezer for about 15 or 20 minutes just to get it nice and cold. That'll speed up the process. And then you wanna take a pint of whipping cream and we're just gonna pour it into the bowl. And then what we're gonna do is take a hand mixer and I'm just gonna turn it on and start mixing until it thickens and it takes generally about five to eight minutes before you really start to see it thickening and as as it starts to thicken I'm gonna add some sugar I have two tablespoons of sugar here all right so I have been mixing this for about six minutes six to seven minutes and I'm just gonna put this sugar just to sweeten it a little bit and you can see how nice and thick, it's just pillowy looking. So that's done. So now I'm just gonna put some wrap over it, put it in the fridge, and when we come back, I'm sure Mike Friday will be here to taste all this delicious Southern comfort food. Okay, so today we have a special guest and and it is the star of Dream Home Cooking, <laughs> Melissa Friday. So, you Ooh, know, you I think? love this house. <laughs> <laughs> I do. How do you it's like that gorgeous. Front door? I mean, is that not? Yes, it's that is beautiful. The, the, it, beautiful. It weighs a couple of thousand yeah, pounds. I, I mean, it. but it just makes such mm -hmm. a stately impression. You know, I your agree. front door is your first impression, oh, and you never go along with uh, just yeah, a gorgeous I mean, front door. So. Gorgeous. The gorgeous double yes. semi arch front door. And the kitchen and the everything is just incredible. Beautiful home. It's a Crestview yeah. floor plan. And uh, we uh, developed this floor plan, I guess, about a year and a half ago. And it has been one of our best sellers. Actually, I don't think we built this home and it, and it not sold prior to us completing yeah. it. Uh, I know that you checked out the kitchen. Yes. You probably, what'd you think? Loved it. I okay. mean, it's just the serving island. Well, let's go check the, it out. Yeah, let's, yeah. let's look, because I, I really was blown away by the brick and the cabinets inside of the brick. You know, perfect for entertaining, okay? Because you've got this to where if you wanted to basically set your food up for entertaining, right. and you know we, have a keeping room in our house and we just love this because this yeah. is i mean this is where we live this is and, where the, we live. Yeah. and when your guests come over you're in the kitchen or in the keeping room everybody Absolutely. gathers here so i Absolutely. love this Absolutely. is a, a nice flow all right so this kitchen of course all of our homes feature welburn 
cabinets. And one of the nice things about this is we've incorporated um, the brickwork in with the cabinetry. Mm -hmm. So I love that. this is, I mean, it's right here. All your spices. When you're cooking, they're just right here and you got them on both sides. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So let's look at the rest of the house. So basically, you you know, come back to the grand foyer here. This is what we call a decorative ceiling package, and it's a five step. There's actually five pieces of trim in this yeah. package. And not only that, at the very top of the window, we've incorporated our keystones. I love that. And that's basically where we step it out, and then all the trim, trim wraps around that. There, there is so much trim detail work in our homes that when people come into it, they're just absolutely blown yeah, away. It makes a tremendous difference. It does, and we want to open it up. You can see how we've got a lot of windows and a lot of glass, uh, and along the back, we can add transoms all the way across just like to basically that. give us a lot more light coming in. And I love the transom transoms concept. Inside the house, yes. We've done this in our home and, and this is just a, a very, very nice feature. Now, one of the things that, okay. <laughs> we're, we're, we just started doing this too. There's so much new stuff that we're doing in our homes. It's absolutely fabulous. You gotta come out and look. But this is a zero entry shower. So there's no step. It's zero entry. It just subtly slopes. It leads into a fabulous shower. But how wonderful for an elderly person Absolutely. or a handicapped person. I mean, that's completely feasible. That's what we're doing. Yeah, I think you that's know, a great just, idea. I mean, we're just basically, you know, thinking ahead. And this shower also has a lot of not only ceramic tile, but natural stone and then it also has granite in it as well. So we're really doing a lot of neat things with our showers uh, today uh, that we weren't doing just a year ago. Kudos to Waldy Flooring. I mean, they, they, they just, job. they are so talented. Absolutely, so, um, you know, it takes a great team in order to be able to build a great product. And when you invest into a woodland home, that's exactly what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a, a great product, you're gonna get a great team of professionals, and uh, we, High we make the building experience fun, easy, and enjoyable. We'd love to see you this weekend. We're in Forest Ridge uh, right now, but all of our communities and all of our homes are open this weekend. Uh, so we'd love to see you out at the model, or you can give us a call at 256-830-9000. Uh, so look forward to seeing you and making your dreams come true with a new Woodland home. At Quality Plus, our motto is don't call three, call me. Because where else can you find North Alabama's finest craftsmen who can handle all of your residential roofing, drywall, and painting needs? At Quality Plus, all work is 100% guaranteed. And no job is too big or too small, whether it's new construction or remodeling. So for your roofing, drywall, and painting needs, don't call three, call me. At Quality Plus Production, 256-990-7578. In choosing a contractor in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with their product, with the quality, it's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust, and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust. Okay, we're back and I got Mike with me in the kitchen, my taster. Hey, thanks for coming out to Forest Ridge today. I know it's been a long time oh, since you've yeah, been out there, but uh, but we you know we just finished that model uh, a yeah. couple of weeks ago. Just and uh, so what do you think about the kitchen? Oh my goodness. It's I, I want I want one just like it, you. <laughs> it, it is another award-winning yes. kitchen by Woodland. Gorgeous. It is awesome. We've incorporated brick into the kitchen, and there's a lot of brick work in the kitchen, and it's just a fabulous so warm kitchen. And yeah, beautiful. And you know, I'm all about the island. Oh yeah, huge <laughs> island. I mean, it was yeah. just that's probably it's called the Crestview plan, and we modified the kitchen a little bit in order to be able to do one of these big island bar mm -hmm. areas, and a lot of people are liking that these days, and oh, so yeah. uh, so. That's that, that, that ended up being, you know, really nice. And, and one of the things that's also just uh, awesome is those iron doors that we're oh, using. I, know. I mean, Absolutely literally, it's, it's 
they're, they're, they, they weigh a couple thousand mm -hmm. pounds. I mean, it's absolutely the prettiest yeah. doors I've ever seen. And so we've started to incorporate some of those and, uh, and it's awesome. It's just beautiful and a great location. You know, we've been partial to the Monrovia area yeah. for so many years. Yeah. So, well, Forest Ridge is gonna give you a couple things. Number one, it's gonna give you a, a relatively small community. There's only gonna be about 40 to 45 home sites in this community. School systems are great. I mean, our kids grew up in the Monrovia and the Spartan school system. Yep. And uh, they're, uh, they've done extremely well in those mm -hmm. school systems. And, and so great, great school systems. Uh, easy access uh, to, uh, you know, Research Park Boulevard. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the location is great. But in this community, you have large home sites, uh, which is good because we're building more of an executive style home. Our homes are going to start in the uh, upper 300,000. Uh, probably the most expensive home in there is uh, six to 700,000, but we're three to 400,000 pretty beautiful much in lots. that particular price range. Yeah. Beautiful piece of land. Every single home that we have built in this community, we have completed yeah. before, mm -hmm. uh, we've sold it before it's been completed. Yeah, and, it's a uh, popular, popular place. So actually. now what we have is we have, uh, we have more construction. We've got about seven or eight homes under construction out mm -hmm. there right now. So if you're looking at uh, purchasing a new home, interest rates are fantastic. So for the latest and greatest, you can always depend on Woodland Homes. So, uh, so tell me what we okay, got going on here. Show you. Yeah, I got, yeah. is that hot? Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, you can set it back there. This is my chicken stew that tastes like my grandma's. Oh, yeah. um, it's just nice and thick and hearty. If you want to put, I've got some rice. I did some rice. Um, so you got what, uh, chicken, chicken thighs? Rice. Chicken thighs and chicken legs. Yeah. Oh, and then good. for color, and I know you don't, you're not crazy about these, but <laughs> green okay. peas. Got to have the color. Oh, okay. I'm all about the yeah. color. They're okay. Yeah. So you're fixing that dish for you, huh? Um, yes, I'll eat this one. <laughs> and then look, these, remember the <clears throat> Sprite biscuits yeah, that I, I tested on y'all? Yeah, sure did. And then I made the old timey fudge pies with the homemade whipping cream. Gotcha. So gotcha. you have to taste that. This yeah, is just comfort in a bowl right there. Yeah, it looks it's good. like a hug from your grandma. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. All right, how do you like it? Fantastic. Good. Love it. Good love deal. it, love it. And for all of these recipes, you can find it at woodlandhomes.com. Check us out on Facebook, our Dream Home Cooking page, and our Woodland Homes page. We'd and love a big, for you to be a friend. And a big shout out to our sponsors. Absolutely. These are these sponsors are our team. Uh, they're um, they do quality work. They build all of our homes. But if you need them to do something at your house, uh, you can depend upon our sponsors to do a first uh, Absolutely. class. Absolutely. You just go you. to woodlandhomes.com, go to the Dream Home Cooking part of it, and we have a, a uh, link for each one that goes to their direct website. Yep. So if you know of anybody interested in a new home, tell them about Woodland Homes and our models are open this weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can log on to our website, woodlandhomes.com or simply give us a call at 830-9000. So we look forward to seeing you in our community. Y'all come see us, we're open this weekend. And with that, sweetheart, I'm starving. So Me too. Let's, let's, eat. let's eat. <laughs>